Generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Better on now until the rehearsal. That's the ticket, I tell you. We'll leave them be, for now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? You Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Rain? 
critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's seventh infantry will return home with the president's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it and make our city proud. <laughs> Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. <laughs> Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new Baymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? saying we kill a man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud Spiker Buddy rolls up and says, he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shimmer troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barry, Fred. You guys find a route to the port. See what security's at. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you three. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. Actually, kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa there! Three steps back, if you please.
Well? Well? You got me. <laughs> Say we looked apart. Maybe. But don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, alright? Hold it! It's the damnedest thing! I don't recall seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll tuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? What you've got now begin was a disgrace! But your confidence, I commend. <clears throat> You've served as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. You will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larbor Junon. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. 
Look for the Seven's Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Juno. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Bam! Bam. Lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't help, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but gotta go big or go home, right? Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgard, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Midgard, 7th Infantry! Attention! Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. And we, uh... And we cannot, we will not let our great city of Midgard down. Failure is not an option. It's a big ask. But we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions. Yes, sir! Who's going to show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't want to be late, sir. When did we last see you, sir? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. Way. Welcome to the celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. Wow! 
People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. Wow! Can you even hear me over this crowd? Uh, the president has stopped. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. You join us in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar 7th Infantry. <laughs> and with that, we reach the end of the 7th <laughs> Infantry's performance. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes for you, the viewers. <laughs> and now, let's see the results. Listen to that crowd. Judging by this response, it's clear that Midgar's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new fans. There's no denying it, folks. That was a performance for the ages. The moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the rumors. Understood. We're back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. Allow me to congratulate you on the stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question. And I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <clears throat> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar's mobile unit! Thank you. 
you would do the honor, sir. The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. But to them and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day, and the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. to present the award goes to Midgar's seventh infantry <laughs> To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. <laughs> I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! You are 
a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent, the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. <sighs> None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Seems like a good way up. your game it wasn't us spare me you've had your chance sir please swing the rooftops now don't let them get away yuffie that was her right yep what do we do Get the hell out of here. Hey! What happened to Rufus? Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw them off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. Sir, your orders! Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Marvor Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, 
Good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. <laughs> we'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest in Larvor Juno. Got it? Yes, sir! Mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. Students, you know, you and I are living legends. I got this. Sir. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? The two of us, together again at long last. Picture it. A duel to end all duels. Are we <laughs> fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights! <laughs> Actors!
This match was ours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion! <laughs> I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expected nothing less than the best. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain, a gift. I insist. Suit yourself. You guys head Lardvord without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Or... Are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman. Just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir! It's okay. 
at ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but the Seven feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. other again sir <laughs> count on it I'm just relieved the fight ended. Can we please just be trust in Shinra? You think they caught whoever was behind that attack yet? Oh. You okay? Yeah. Great. Now then. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right. Next. They're screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. Think they caught whoever was behind that attack yet? Just trust in Shinra and things will be fine. help you yeah we're uh... we are the winners of the president's commendation as a reward we got a trip to Costa del Sol the commander-in-chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship first time hearing of this well the president's a busy man those guys with you too <laughs> where'd they come from captain sorry but you're needed on deck fights broken out Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Aye, sir. Oh, and your dog stays in the hold. Got it. Passenger 
different here, isn't it? Compared to Midgard, very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. for a little reconnaissance. see that Faz guy again? No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. Like that? I'm here if you want to talk. Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Meeting adjourned for now. <laughs> so how's it looking up top? All the robes are in second class. I haven't seen any sign of Shinra though. We can ditch the uniforms. Oh. Well, it's been an honor, Captain. Captain. Hey. About this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's all thanks to little Miss Ninja Stud, but personally, I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards Costa del Sol and expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. Come on. 